This is episode 1603. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I honor you for being right where you are as you get ready to meditate and experience a little more peace, energy, and clarity as you go about your day. This is for a Thursday's episode, and you may be getting ready to end your week. So, in today's episode, I'm going to share with you a way that you can begin to chip away at your bad habits and install some new good habits in your life. Our theme this week is releasing bad habits. So we've been exploring what is a bad habit and how do they end up in our lives and why can't we seem to release them. And I've been doing a little research on this and have discovered a lot of common traits people share, experts who study cultivating good habits and optimizing your productivity and your health and your wellness. And basically, bad habits begin with a thought that's usually triggered by an emotion. And this thought becomes so pervasive and so consistently addressed that it starts to influence your actions and those actions begin to create a pattern in your life. You begin to create neural pathways in your brain that make that bad habit stick. And that's why bad habits are difficult to release. Well, one of the best ways to release a bad habit is to become aware of what triggers that habit. And this awareness can be tracked. So if you start to notice what's triggering your bad habits, then you have some awareness and this you can work with you can begin to understand. And when you have knowledge, this empowers you because it helps you to make sense of your situation so that you can begin to release your emotional entanglement with your bad habit. So usually stress is the number one reason for bad habits. Stress caused by pain. So there's a difference there because stress can be good. It can help us create good habits such as I feel stressed about a presentation I need to make today so I need to wake up early and practice the presentation and so every time you have a presentation your habit is to get on top of your preparation so that you feel confident and you can perform at your best well a bad habit might be when you feel stressed about a presentation or anything in your life, you think of a way to even sabotage yourself where you think, oh, I'm just going to wing it. There's really no reason to prepare and I don't really want to do this presentation in the first place and on and on and on. You come up with excuses to make sense of why you have this bad habit to not prepare yourself for important moments in your life. Now, you can convince yourself of how you need to prepare for your presentation or that conversation with a loved one that's a difficult conversation to have or whatever it might be by empowering yourself with reasons why you should and need to prepare. You could say, 
I'm going to learn so much and a lot of other people are relying on me and I'm going to bring such great awareness to people during my presentation or during the difficult conversation that this is going to make a difference in their lives and also in my own life. And I'm going to feel so good after I do it and I'll even reward myself. When you reward yourself, you begin to create new emotional triggers. So this is how changing your bad habits can work. Tracking the habit, becoming aware of the trigger and how you respond to it, and then creating new triggers that inspire you instead of disempower you, and making sure to reward yourself, to shift your pain point to a good emotion. So in today's meditation, I want to share with you a meditation technique to help you do just that. You know, as always, you can find a full half hour in-depth guided meditation on our new Sip and Ohm meditation app. We offer this on Android and also iOS Google. You can also go to sipandom.com to receive our herbal tea box. The herbs can benefit you in a similar way as do these meditation techniques to help calm you. And we are releasing a gratitude box for November with herbs that help you to open up to gratitude. So you can find that at sipandom.com. So settle yourself down and get ready to meditate. Always spine straight, eyes gently uplifted to keep your thoughts uplifted. Relax your body, noticing where you harbor tension, and begin to notice what may have triggered that tension. It's there for a reason. It didn't just suddenly happen. Something triggered it. Is there an emotion that may have caused tension or tightness? Think about your day and think about different habits throughout your day that you'd like to release. As you think of these different habits, see if there's one in particular that stands out and that you could begin to unravel this bad habit. Maybe it's a thought or a way you react to someone or some event. What is the emotion behind your reaction? Do you feel vulnerable or fearful? And so you react in anger. Do you feel threatened? Do you feel irritated or uninspired and so you may feel bored 
and not able to get things done. Notice your emotional reactions. Now begin to unravel your thoughts and attachments regarding this habit and see if you can understand why you react in such a way. Make some sense out of your emotions that support a bad habit that impacts your life. Become aware of ways you can tweak your reaction where you can begin to think differently and feel differently about your reactions. Continue to meditate, allowing yourself to create the responses that empower you and the habits that will support your life. You are so worth slowing down for.